Hey everybody, it's Tech here. Today we're back on the Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission website. I'm going to link that down below for you guys uh, so you can take a look at it here. I've got a little bit of stuff using the uh, Google Translator um, plugin here for Firefox. I mean, you guys can make more out of it here, uh, but it seems to me it's not translating everything because most of these are uh, just pictures here, so it wouldn't translate it compared to just the, the raw text on the site. Um, but what we're really interested here today is that I was linked after talking about the avatar uh, customization characters you play as um, to this site and saying, hey, take a look at this and you'll be able to see some of the transformations more in depth. And I think uh, looking over them, we have some crazy amazing stuff here. Uh, I was really worried at first. I was like, what if I wanted to play as like a cell type of person? Um, don't worry, guys, we'll, we'll be taking a look at it. Here. So let's start off here with the Saiyans, of course. Uh, so we have the three main elements you can pick from between here with the uh, um, was it hero, element, uh, I think it was elemental or something, that, or elites, sorry, hero, elites, and brute. And um, it's kind of what I've kind of just configured out of these. So got our main dudes here going down, how they change and whatnot. You can see the Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan. Uh, versions of them so I'm guessing like as you play they'll just continuously change their looks or whatnot or if you can change them um, by yourself but I, I do think that's really cool guys so if you want your guy to be more of like a traditional Saiyan looking like Vegeta or if you want yours to be more in the sense of like Goku and his crew uh, or I don't even know what's going on here this one just reminds you way too much of an Android honestly like hybrid um, but you see all, all the way down here is Super Saiyan God. I mean, yeah, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. So it gets crazy like a... Yeah, that's just that's just blue hair dye at that point, guys, in my opinion. And uh, that's just Super Saiyan 3 blue, blue haired. So, I don't know, some of these are cool. They're also interesting to talk about the um, little, I think, CAAs or CCAs or C CAAs, what they're called. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to uh, do this like little G attack here, the little spinny attack here. For their like skills so i uh, definitely am not claiming to be professional at all in this i uh, am very much uh new when it comes to jumping on um with a lot of people here so definitely wouldn't be the main uh, recommendation end all be all um when it comes to giving his opinions or thoughts but uh, i just thought it'd be really cool you guys can form your own opinions on this you have the uh blue form for super saiyan god super saiyan so it's a mouthful and a half for the female Super Saiyan God and whatnot. So pretty, pretty badass looking uh, Saiyan girl there, if I can say. Gonna kick a lot of butt. I've got the Majins here. And uh, so if you want yours to be more like uh, Kid Boo, Super Boo, there's even a little form right here. I don't even know what's going on on some of these. Like the outfits are just crazy like what is that like a king henry the eighth and like a, like a paladin the like golden knight and is that the pope is that the pope of, of majins you know so guys this it's gonna get crazy like at first i was like ah you know it's gonna be a lot like ultimate mission x so i've been playing a bunch of that getting into it seeing what we got to work with i honestly at this point have no clue what is gonna happen you know, in terms of even Western support after the game releases, like DLC, free DLC, um, you know, will we get even more customization with our uh, avatars? Like here we have a metal version if you want to be the Frieza race, and this is just, um, this is cool. It's, it, it reminds me of Xenoverse um, and like Dragon Ball Fusions, like hopped up on drugs, essentially. Uh, gold Frieza versions here. And, um, like a second form freeze up. This is crazy, guys. So it's looking like, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Let me count them off here for these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so about five different, um, progressive transformations for each avatar there. Um, tell me your guys' thoughts on who you think is definitely turning out to be the coolest. In my opinion, though, I don't know. The, the Frieza ones seem pretty cool. Uh, base Saiyan seem pretty awesome here. And the Mechian is kind of eh. It doesn't seem like anything too crazy on this dude or this dude. I don't know what's going on here. 
that seems like a little bit of a hybrid of like the Mechian and Frieza race. So let's see what we got for androids. Androids is really cool. So yeah, I wanted to get into this one. So if you prefer the look of um, Android 17, 18, you got it. If you want the Android um, uh, uh, 19 version, you got it. If you want the cell version, you got it. It is crazy and amazing. Even the cell one has tra like different transformations, you know? Um, 19 though doesn't really look like too much. You know, it just kind of, like, ages, I guess. This one turns into, like, like Super 17, Super 18, if you guys have seen them. Uh, this one here, at some point, it just it just changes colors and grows uh, grows wings. Or longer wings. Um, I don't know, this, it's pretty, aside from, like, the, the color change, it, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, guys, this is, this turned out to be pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, then we have the Kai's here. Supreme Kai's. Um, so, like, as expected with these, like, it doesn't look like anything kind of too crazy, you know, compared to Saiyans or the Majin or Frieza. Android, though, I don't know, dude. I feel like Android might be the way to go. Like, I'm starting to lean more towards Android. And then we have the Dark Demon God, which is new for some. What is that? <laughs> what is that, guys? I. What? Is that even the change? between outfits on that one or is that just okay so it, it looks like it's pretty much the same for the first three for all of them so uh up until the last two they they change they get a little bit like a little bit more aggressive essentially and this one discovers what sleeves are and then gets a cool little evil cape and uh this one's brustus is open up so let's see is there anything else here or is that gonna oh it just goes between all of them so i'm gonna link this uh down below for you guys and uh, you guys tell me your thoughts on this um i don't know guys it's it's pretty cool at first i thought you know we're only gonna have these uh what is it eight different avatars to choose from you kind of be stuck with them and you can kind of transform here and there i didn't know how limited it would be in the case of like the androids they have a lot less to work with but if it is actually going to turn out to be like this i do see level 8 and level 12 here so i'm guessing at like level 8 that's when you unlock this path so maybe you would have to be stuck here with this version before you go to this version or this one so it kind of would suck that you couldn't just pick off the bat and just go down the tree so, um, but that's going to do it here today. Uh, give me your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments down below. Uh, I think we'll do some more look around the website here, see if we can find some more stuff out, uh, go digging. Other than that, have a good Sunday, everybody. Keep it safe.